Hey, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be analyzing the frequency spectrum of a couple guitars and seeing how much of that EQ curve is retained once you put it through a guitar amp and through a speaker cabinet and miking those speakers. So let's first talk about all the variables that we're gonna be working with today. There are so many things that affect the way a guitar sounds and is going to affect the EQ curve, especially when you put it under a microscope like we're gonna be doing today and analyzing the frequencies. So I'm gonna just talk about what the process is going to be like for this video. We're gonna take a Les Paul and a Tele. We're gonna plug them in direct into my Universal Audio Apollo. And we're gonna analyze what that direct guitar signal frequency range is and where some peaks are. And then we're going to put it through this Dumble clone, the Smart Bell, and we're gonna mic it with both a 57 and a condenser mic. Um, it's just a pretty generic kind of U87-based um, condenser microphone. And we're gonna put it through this cab that has EV12Ls, and then we're also gonna be putting it through my Parried Smith cab that has a Celestian V30 in it. And what we're gonna be looking for is how much of that core direct guitar sound in those EQ curves are retained when you're going through a couple different speakers, through a couple different mics, and just seeing how much of that is retained through it and maybe what is taken away or what is added to that frequency spectrum. Now, that being said, there are so many variables that are going to affect this beyond what we are testing today. So keep that in mind as we do today's test, that these are not the only factors in retaining what a guitar sounds like. And ultimately, this is born out of my current obsession of how different guitars make you play differently. And what is it that causes you to do that? It might be the feel, it might be the way the guitar looks, it might be the setup of the guitar, but I think there also is a big factor in how that guitar sounds plugged in affects the way that you wanna play and the things that you're gonna to lean towards or shy away from when picking up a certain guitar. So let's nerd out and get into it. So what we've got here is we're in Logic Pro and I've got each track pulled up and we're gonna be going through the Blue Cat Frequency Analyst. Um, to kind of have a visual representation of what's going on here. So each guitar, the Les Paul and the Tele, have a direct recording, a condenser on the EV12L, a 57 on the EV cab, a condenser on the Celestian Vintage 30, and a 57 on the Vintage 30. And so I have the mics about eight inches away from the speaker and fairly centered uh, on the cone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one guitar at a time and I highly recommend maybe putting some headphones in for this part of the demo so that you can kind of associate your ears with some of the frequencies that you're looking at on the analyst here. So we're gonna start with the direct and then we're gonna go to the condenser on the EV, 57 on the EV. We're gonna go condenser on the V30 and 57 on the V30. Um, and so that's going to kind of give you a better representation of the mics. Um, and then we'll go condenser on the EV, condenser on the V30, 57 on the EV, 57 on the V30.
So hopefully this helps put some visuals to just the differences, um, you know, not only between speaker cabinets and speakers and mics, um, but the guitars themselves. You can tell that there are frequency differences, obviously, between the Les Paul and the Tele, but they're fairly subtle. Even though those guitars, I think most people would agree, sound I mean, almost drastically different, um, especially in context. They definitely make me play wildly different. And so that's ultimately kind of the reason for doing an experiment like this is just trying to get somewhere, um, you know, and I don't think that there's one answer, um, but the process of trying to figure out why certain guitars make me play different. Um, part of it is going to be just the sound of that guitar with those pickups um, and the other you know factors how it reacts with the speakers and the amp uh, whatever pedals um, that I have on all those things factor into the tone and the variables that make each guitar sound different feel different and play different not only you know the setup and the neck um, and the physical attributes to the guitar
ultimately, I feel like there is a significant retention of the guitar's peaks and specific EQ curve, just depending on the specific guitar and pickups that are involved, that you can visually see um, are retained there. Um, now, these speakers and the mics are all cutting off extremes, okay? And those extremes, I don't think are necessarily heard as much as they're felt, um, especially in the context of a guitar. Ultimately, it really sits in that mid-range frequency spectrum, but even within that, you can tell that the Les Paul leans, you know, sub the 470 uh, hertz here, um, and the tally kind of pushes a little beyond the 2K. Um, and so that's gonna be a big factor here, and that is still retained um, even with the two different speakers mic'd with two different mics. Um, those things are retained, and they're representing that guitar in a way that still makes that guitar feel and sound a certain way. Well, hope that you enjoyed today's video, kind of a nerd experiment um, here in analyzing these guitars with different mics and different cabs. Ultimately, uh, what you like is what you like, and you don't have to get this deep into knowing about it. It's something that I find enjoyment out of. It's something that I value. Um, and being able to use that to my advantage, knowing that a certain guitar through a certain speaker is gonna give me a result that not only sounds a certain way, but puts me in a place to where I feel different and I play different things. Um, that's really fun for me to kind of know that and know more about that and be able to get more consistent results with the gear that I do have. Uh, if this is something that you like, please like and subscribe to this new uh, channel and share it with your friends, uh, other gear nerds. And if you like to dive into stuff like this, please let me know. I appreciate everyone who's interacting with me online. And until next time, I've been Colin. I'm gonna crank this up just a little bit. Hey, and you def <clears throat> take 500. analyzing all right let's have mm, okay I hate that Whew. hey you know what I think we need to do this all again <clears throat> oh my god okay frequency uh mm gotta be a better way to say that hey 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 um, and what <sighs> all right hey 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 <laughs>